Hello friends, my name is Paula. We're gonna do a gentle flow today. It is May 16th. I'm wondering how y'all are doing. As the quarantine goes on and on, I hope you're taking exceedingly unreasonably good care of yourself. Um, and maybe this yoga session is part of that. That would mean a lot to me. So here we go, this is for everybody. Um, I give a lot of options and everything I say is optional because you can do whatever the hell you want. Okay? Let's go. So we'll start seated. Find a comfortable spot. You can get something to sit on if you want. This is my Zafu meditation pillow. Very helpful. So when your butt's just a little bit higher than your knees, Ooh, it's so much easier to keep your spine in alignment. You can feel your head just floating at the top of your spine. It's so nice. So find a comfortable seat. Wiggle around. Don't pretend you're comfortable if you're not. Ever in life, right? Find a spot that really is comfortable and allow yourself to wiggle and adjust until you find that spot. Let your elbows hang heavy. Let your head float at the top of your neck. And then you're gonna ground down. So you're gonna imagine that there is a cord or a waterfall or a hose or anything that flows down at the very base of your spine. And it's just gonna sink down into the center of the earth. I actually, most of the time I imagine like a rope with a big hook at the end and it drops down. The hook is so heavy, so it drops down, kind of like an anchor, and then it hooks into the center of the earth, so I feel hooked in. That's what feels best for me. But you have to find what works best for you. But as long as the energy is going down on the exhale, so the exhale sinks you down into the core of the earth so that you can be grounded. It's hard to be grounded right now. And then we'll follow the breath. So when you inhale, send your breath down to the very bottom of your lungs, send it into your belly, inhale and expand all the way around your belly. And when you exhale, empty all the air out. You can draw your belly button and spine together. You can let your shoulder blades drop down your back. And then inhale and expand. When you inhale and you expand all the way around your belly, you're actually sending messages to your brain that everything is okay that you're taken care of, that you're safe. You're actually sending messages to your first chakra, your, your root chakra, which is the chakra of safety, being here on this planet, that you are safe, which you are. In this moment, you are safe. Relax your face and your jaw and your tongue and your mouth, all the muscles around your eyeballs. Relax your face. And then you're gonna drop your chin to your chest. Just roll your left ear over your left shoulder and then return your chin to your chest. And then your right ear over your right shoulder and then your chin to your chest. You're not gonna let your head flop back onto your shoulder blades. You're just doing this little half circle. So right ear over the right shoulder, chin to your chest. Go nice and slow. Again, you might find that there's gummy bears or Rice Krispies or something in your neck. You might find that you're holding a lot of tension in your neck. That's also the tension that's in your jaw. So relax your jaw. I feel like a lot of us right now feel like we should have all the answers when none of us know what we're talking about. None of us have any answers. And so our jaw gets clenched and our throat gets tight because we want to say the right thing and we want to know what the right thing to say and be and do is and none of us know. And then chin on your chest and just shake your head no a little bit and then lift your head up and just some big circles with your arms. Again, all of this area, your heart, your throat, all of this, you're going to bring the backs of your hands together, cut, lift it up and then exhale, swim it back. Woo! And again, backs of your hands together, lift it up and then swing it back and we'll do that one more time. Make sure you're breathing, backs your hands together, swim it up and then swim it back. 
Good. Lean over into your left hand. Right arm, big circles. Just your right arm. Cool. This is a circle. It's a ball socket joint. So theoretically, your shoulder is supposed to be able to make a full circle. We do lots of bad things to our shoulders, so probably it's not doing that, but theoretically that's what it's supposed to do. And then we'll just take a real gentle twist, so put that right hand on the floor behind you, left hand on your right knee, look over that shoulder. You can press with your hand on your knee to spin your ribs around a little bit more, but make sure you ground down into that grounding cord. So right then I felt my tailbone drop into the pillow, and that's what I want. Ground down, lift up through the crown of your head, and twist like chocolate vanilla swirl, or like a barber's pole. And then both arms up, and then the other arm, just lean over into your right hand, make big circles with the left arm. Big circles like a helicopter. And then left hand behind you, right hand to the left knee, lift up through the crown of the head, ground down through the tail, and spin around your middle. Looking back over your shoulder, you exhale down into the center of the earth with your tailbone. You can inhale and grow from your crown chakra up into the universe, into the heavens, and then spin around that central line. Good. Release. Take the uh, pillow out from under you. Have you one? Reach your arms up. Uh, fold forward. Just breathe into your back. You can let your head hang. Let yourself wiggle around a little interpretive dance here. Just wiggle, move your ribs as much as you can. Drop your head maybe. And then let's come up. Let's come onto the hands and knees, please. Getting more into that breath. The more you breathe deeply, the more you remind yourself that you are here and that you are okay. So inhale. I like to round my back and breathe into my back on the inhale. And then exhale, I like to drop my spine in and curl my butt up to the sky. Inhale, puff your back up. Exhale, drop your spine in. Again, the more you bring your awareness to your back body, that's where your intuition is. Inhale, round. Exhale, drop in. The part of you that knows that you don't really have to have all the answers. Inhale, round one more time. Exhale. Good. Let's just stretch out opposite arm and leg. So my right leg stretches back, my left arm stretches forward, and I reach. I lift my belly button up, puff up the lower back a little bit, and I reach. And then if you want, you can do a back bend by taking the left hand to the right foot. I grab the outside of the right foot, the pinky toe side, and then push the foot into the hand. And I can look down or look on the floor in front of my mat. Breathe. Good. Bring the left hand down. Bring your right foot all the way over to the right. We're gonna come up. Good. You're gonna take your right hand down towards your right ankle. Left arm's gonna go up and over and we're gonna stretch through the left side. Try not to crunch the right side though, right? In yoga, we're never sacrificing one part of the body for the other, right? So my right shoulder's gonna drop, and then I'm gonna lengthen through my left side, but without crunching my right, without making it uncomfortable. Good, bring both hands down, and then we do this a lot on, when we're in down dog, but we're gonna do it now on our hands and elbows. So left elbow down to the floor. I'm gonna pick up my right leg and stack my right hip up on top of my left. And I'm gonna make some circles with that knee. So draw big circles like there's a crayon on your right knee. Up, out, and around. Opening up that hip. And then you're gonna come up onto the left hand, step your right foot to the top of the mat, and then let's just move back and forth with the breath. You can stay down here if you want. If you're nice and loose, it is warmer now. It got real warm in DC, I don't know. I don't know what it's like where you are, but I got warm here. If you're super warm and you can come down onto both elbows and forearms, congratulations. If you can't, that's fine too. Whatever you're into, move around. I like to keep both hands on the inside. 
That way I don't get um, caught up here uh, with my hand on the outside. So just stay both hands on the inside, wiggle around, or come all the way down onto both elbows if you want. And then bring your right knee back with your left, and then inhale, reach up for the sky, and then exhale, we're gonna down dog. Palms flat, toes under, pull the hips back. So imagine, maybe you've seen those um, rope walls in yoga studios. You're gonna imagine that there's a rope around your hips, right where your hip creases are, and you're either attached to a wall or somebody delicious is pulling those hip creases up and back. So the hip creases move towards the sit bones and the sit bones reach to where the wall meets the ceiling behind you. Relax your shoulders and your head. I like to keep my knees bent, push the mat away, and then both knees down, and we'll do all that on the other side. So the left leg stretches back, right arm stretches forward, Hold here for a few breaths, just lengthening and lengthening and lengthening. And then if you want to do a back bend, then you bring your right hand back, grab the pinky toe side of that foot and push the foot into your hand. So you get a nice stretch across the chest and shoulder, nice opening for the hip. And then release your hand, take your left foot out to the left. Come all the way up on that knee. You're going to take this left hip and drop it down, right? So the hips are level. Left hand walk, walks down towards the left ankle. Right arm up and over. Breathing through the right side of the ribs. Anchoring the right knee into the mat. <sighs> that feels so nice. Good. And then bring both hands down. You're going to take... This left knee, bend it, lift the foot up. I'm gonna put my right elbow and forearm on the floor. I'm just gonna open my left hip and stack it on the right at first. And then I'm gonna draw some big circles with that left knee, up, out, and around. You might feel this in your tush, feel it in your glute. Mm. Good. Good, and then come up on both hands. Step that left foot all the way to the top of the mat. You're gonna hinge forward and back. You're gonna play around, maybe both elbows to the mat. Ooh, this side's tighter than the other side, you guys. Notice, always noticing. No judgment, just curiosity. That's very curious that this side is very much a lot tighter than the other. Fascinating. No judgment. Good, and then knees together, reach for the sky, sweep up, exhale, down dog, pull the hips up and back, shake your head, and then we'll just do this nice, gentle, easy flow, inhale, plank pose, drop your knees, exhale, child pose, inhale, reach for the sky, come all the way up, exhale, down dog. Again, inhale, float into a plank. We're not moving quickly. Drop your knees, exhale, float back to child's pose. Inhale, come all the way up on your knees, reach for the sky. Exhale, down dog. One more time. Inhale, nice solid plank. Drop your knees, child's pose. Inhale, come all the way up. And then I'm going to fake you out. You're going to exhale back into child's pose and breathe there. You can rock from side to side in your child's pose. Maybe your forehead touches the mat. Maybe it doesn't. Again, bringing your awareness to your back body, breathing across your back, breathing up and down your back. Breathe into the space between your shoulder blades. That's the back of your heart chakra, and we hold a lot there. Very good. You're gonna inhale, shoot forward into plank like a rocket. Boop, you're gonna hold your plank for three, two, take a big inhale, exhale, down dog. I'm gonna have you actually walk your hands to your feet instead of your feet to your hands. 
Open up your feet wide so your pinky toes hang off the uh, outer edges of the mat. And then fold there. Rock the weight into your heels. Let your head hang heavy like a bowling ball at the end of a string. Imagine your arms are full of sand. And then as slowly as you can, you're gonna roll up to standing. Keep your knees bent, keep your feet wide apart. Roll up like a rag doll. Good. And then you can adjust your shirt. <sighs> All right. Take a little walk to the top of the mat. We'll do some real gentle flows. You can't see my face. We'll do some real gentle flows. I'm sorry for all the ambient noise, but um, it's so lovely outside, so I hope all the cars and birdies don't bother you. So feet flat, mountain pose. Remember that Tadasana and Shavasana are the same pose. It's just the gravity is playing with your body a little bit differently in both ones. So. Shavasana, I'm flat on the floor, right? Everything's flat. Tadasana, same thing. Straight up and down from the tip top of my head to the space between my feet is one straight line like a laser. Pretend you have heavy bags from your favorite store in your hands so those shoulders pull way down and your head floats and your tongue is soft. On your next exhale, exhale all the air out, ground down into the floor, remind yourself that you are safe, you are safe, you are safe. And then we will inhale and reach for the sky. Exhale, fold however you like. I, get, I love a good old fashioned draw a line down your middle with prayer pose. Step your right foot back into a lunge. So this lunge, you're gonna keep your right knee up off the floor. We can still rock forward and back, but then you're really stretching out those toes back there. Big inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Lower however you like. Again, I love a good old fashioned knees, chest and chin. Inhale, a cobra, you can do baby cobra or full cobra. Don't lock your elbows if you're in full cobra and don't let your shoulders eat your neck. This is my nightmare, literal nightmare. Lift your head up and out. Good, now keep your chest that open and you swing back to down dog. Good. Big inhale. Exhale all the air out. Step that right foot to the top of the mat. However it gets there is perfect. And then feet together, forward fold. Inhale, come all the way up. Mountain pose, exhale. Same exact thing on the other side. Ready, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Left foot back this time. Rock forward and back a little bit on those toes. Those toes are about to be in sandals all summer long, so let's get them nice and stretched out. Good. Step it back down, dog. Inhale, plank pose. Exhale, however you like to lower, knees, chest, chin. Or you can come flat all the way on your belly, totally fine. Inhale, cobra pose with the elbow slightly bent and the neck wicked long and down dog. Full breath, big inhale. Exhale, all the air out. Left foot to the top of the mat, however it gets there. Feet together, forward fold. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, mountain pose. Great, let's do some other fun stuff. Inhale up. Exhale, fold down. Step that right foot back. Okay, so you can either keep your fingertips on the floor, or you can bring your hands to prayer, or you can bring your arms up. Good, shoulders down. Your legs are so strong. Lift your heart and drop those shoulders down your back. And now drop that grounding cord, so tailbone down into the center of the earth. Big inhale. Let's take a nice twist. My right elbow is gonna to come to the outside of the left knee. My left hand's gonna push into my right. Elbow to elbow, straight line up and down. See that? So don't let this elbow go here. Straight up and down. And then you can push your left hand into your right and spin the ribs around. 
and maybe you can look at the ceiling, maybe not. If that back knee needs to come to the floor, by all means. Breathe. Good. Put both hands inside of the left foot. Drop your right knee to the floor, okay? You're gonna take your right toes and they're gonna swing out so they're off of the mat over to the right and you're gonna stretch this left leg back. You're gonna bring your left arm up to the sky and here we are in a, um, in a variety of a side plank. Then we're gonna inhale and you're gonna round yourself up so the left ribs reach for the sky like a rainbow. And then exhale, whoo, get that balance and go right back up with the left arm to the sky. So inhale, ribs to the sky. Exhale, you can keep the inside of your left foot on the floor back there if you need that balance. One more time, inhale. And then exhale. Woo, that's harder than it looks, you guys. Hand down. Bring the right toes in, bring the left knee down, inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath, big inhale. Exhale, all the air out. Walk, or if you're into hopping, I don't so much love hopping, but sometimes I will. Hop yourself to the top of the mat, halfway up. Inhale, nice flat back. Exhale, full back down. Oh, I always bend my knees when I fold. I told you that already. Inhale, flat back. I can straighten my legs, but I don't lock the knees ever, ever, ever. Exhale, fold back down. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, fold. All the way up. And let's go right back down and do all that on the other side. Exhale, fold back down. Whew. Left foot back to left. You can drop the left knee, or you can keep the left toes on the floor and the knee lifted. You can keep your hands here, you can bring your hands here, or you can bring your arms up. Sink down, lift your heart up. So both energies happening at the same time, just like when we were just seated, right? You ground down into the center of the earth, and you lift your heart, crown your head and your fingertips up into the heavens. Big inhale. Exhale, let's twist. Hands to prayer. Left hand, I'm sorry, left elbow outside right knee. Elbow to elbow, straight line. And I'm pushing my right hand into my left. And then maybe look at the sky. And every time I exhale, I push a little bit more and spin those ribs around. Your body loves twists. It's like wringing out an old dirty towel. Good. Hands to the mat, they're both inside of the uh, right foot. And then I'm gonna bring my hips back a little bit. My left toes swing out to the left. This is my kickstand. My right leg swings back and stretches back. Okay, I'm gonna scoot up a little bit. Left hand down, right arm to the sky. Then with the breath, I'm gonna inhale, open up my right side ribs to the sky, and then exhale, whoop, back up. You gotta keep your belly in for balance. Inhale, rainbow. Exhale, back up. Whew. One more time, inhale, rainbow. Exhale. Good, knees together. Reach for the sky, inhale up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big inhale. Exhale, all the air out. Walk or hop, however you get your toenails to the top of the mat, it's fine with me. This time, I'm gonna stay back here a little bit so you can see, we're gonna inhale, come up, and we're gonna exhale, fold like a soldier. So you're gonna keep your ears inside your arms, knees are bent, you're gonna push your tush out, and fold, 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 like your piece of paper folding. So inhale, we kind of loosey-goosey, come up, exhale, fold like a soldier, butt out behind you, flat, flat, flat back. One more time, inhale, loosey-goosey, up, Exhale, fold like a soldier. Really push that tush out, lengthen the spine. Good. Step the right foot back. Inhale, you're gonna come up to that lunge again. Again, you can keep your hands right here. You can hold on to that thigh, that's why God made that thigh. Or you can bring your arms up, okay? We're gonna inhale, we're gonna do a different twist. Your left hand goes behind you, your right arm goes forward. So you twist in the way that feels 
Weird. <laughs> Inhale, arms up. Exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, twist. This time, both arms up and straighten that left leg. And then exhale, drop the back heel and turn the left toes to point in the same direction as the right. And instead of showing you my butt, I'm gonna turn this way, okay? So we're facing, uh, you're facing to the same, the same direction you're facing. <laughs> and you're gonna lift your belly button in. You're just like in your down dog where you take these hip creases and you push them back. You're gonna do that same thing and you're gonna fold down. Shake your head a little bit. Ooh. Hug the inside of your feet down into the mat. So you wanna hug the arches of your feet into the mat. And then we're gonna twist in the same direction you were just twisting when you were in that lunge. So right hand on the mat or on the floor or on a block. Totally fine to have a block right here. And right now, both my hips point down to the floor, correct? I'm gonna do my best to keep both hips pointing down as I stretch my left arm up to the sky. So notice, when you stretch that left arm up to the sky, your left hip goes with it, right? It's like, wee, I'm going with ya. What you're gonna do is try to have your left fingertips pointing to the sky and your left hip pointing straight down. I know that's not easy, right? It's sneaky hard. That's what my mom used to say about my classes, that they were sneaky hard. So the hip points down, the left arm points up. And you're breathing, and you can push the floor away or the block away with that right hand. Big inhale, exhale, bring it down, and then fingertips are gonna walk behind you. So walk through your legs. I bend my elbows like up towards the ceiling, kind of grip on to the mat, or even I have a rug that I grip onto, and I bend my elbows up as I pull my chest through. Good. And then turn your left toes back to the top of the mat, and then come down into your lunge. Nice, right? Drop that back knee, and then let's just bring both arms up here. Oh, big inhale. Exhale, bring both hands down, bring the knees together behind you, sink back into child's pose. Breathe in your child's pose for a few breaths. Breathing into your back if you like. <sighs> Inhale, you're gonna come forward into kind of a cobra, so you're just gonna let your hips drop a little bit, not full cobra, just let them drop a little bit, but keep that belly hugged in, and then exhale, child's pose. And just go back and forth a few times. Inhale, forward. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, forward. Can you keep your hands in the same place? Exhale, child's pose, so crazy glue your hands right there. Woo, get that stretch for the shoulders. Inhale, forward. Exhale, child's pose. And then this time, inhale, forward. Turn your toes under, lift your knees. Exhale, down dog. Walk your feet to your hands, however they get there. Come up halfway, flatten that back. Melt down. All the way up, reach for the sky. Exhale, let's fold right back down. Nice and fluid, like you're moving through molasses. Left foot back, lunge. Arms go up. Same thing on this side. So bending the knee, legs are so strong. Inhale, just right here in your lunge. Exhale, twist, left arm forward, right arm back. Inhale, forward. Sorry, they're taking out the recycling over there. Exhale, twist. One more time. Inhale forward. Exhale, twist. Good. This time, bring your arm up and straighten that front leg. And then exhale, you're going to drop the back heel and you're going to turn your right toes. And I know I'm facing the same way, but that's because I turned around last time. Inhale, reach for the sky. This time, exhale, just bring your arms out and make your big star first. Whew. Shoulders down. This is like a power pose. I'm gonna drop my tailbone down. I'm gonna hug my belly button in. And I'm gonna feel strong AF. Shoulders down. Inhale, fold all the way down. Keep your back flat, fold. 
Good. Same thing um, on this side. So I'm going to put my left hand on the floor. My right hip right now points to the floor. I'm going to do my best to keep my right hip pointing to the floor, but stretch my right arm to the sky. And it seems like those two things can happen at the same time. But that's, you know, we're just trying. We're playing. Yoga is play. If you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Big open chest. <sighs> Big inhale. Exhale, bring the right hand down. And then bring your feet in just a little bit. And this time we're stretching out the shoulders. So interlace your hands behind your back. The, um, the heels of the hands can be together or separate, or maybe it's hard to even do that. In which case you can get a tie or a rope um, or something to hold on to both. And then bring the arms up and over as much as they want to be, right? Listen to your body. Your body's so much smarter than you. <sighs> Let your head hang and your arms come up and over. <sighs> Good. Release the arms down. Turn those right toes back to point to the top of the mat. Left knee down. Bring both arms up in this deep lunge. Big inhale. Good. Exhale. Again, back to child lips. <sighs> A few breaths there. Notice how your body feels. Is there a part of you that still wants, needs some stretching? Is there parts of you that need more breath? Just notice. Hmm. You're going to inhale, shoot forward to plank like a rocket. Exhale, down dog. And again, walk your hands back to your feet. Hands back to your feet. And then roll up like we did at the beginning. Good. Let's do um, a little bit of balance. So I'm going to adjust the camera a little bit. Ooh, I'm a little sweaty. Told y'all. It's warm. It's humid in DC already. Okay. So let's play with some balance poses. Spread your toes. You're going to ground down into your left foot. So grow roots out of that left foot. We're going to play with dancer pose. So I'm going to take my left hand, I'm going to grab my left waist or put it on my left hip. Just like at the beginning when we were doing this on our hands and knees, um, although you're doing not opposite hand and foot, I'm going to take my right hand back. I'm going to grab the inside this time, the inside of my right foot. So it's not like what we did at the beginning at all. Forget I said that. <laughs> uh, so you're grabbing the big toe side this time. So exactly the opposite of what we did before is what I meant to say. Right, so this is enough for you, that is totally fine. You can stay right here. You can also bring that left arm up next to the left ear. And there, now I know what I'm talking about. Just like we just did, your right hip's gonna wanna open out to the right. You're gonna do your best to not let it. And maybe you're gonna tip forward. You don't have to go very far. This is not a competition. Nothing in life is a competition. The, bent, uh, the standing leg is strong, but the knee is not locked, not ever. Heart is open. Good. Good. Okay. Hang out with me. See if you can play a little bit with me. You're going to release that right foot, bring it around, and cross it on top like a number four. Just bring your hands to prayer. Really push your palms together. That helps with balance. My belly is in. I'm just going to sit down a little bit. Just like have a caparina or something. Just sit on down. Belly's in. Maybe sit down a little deeper. I know that leg is yelling. And then release. And stand up. Shake out. Release any negative energy or negative thoughts about your abilities to do yoga because it's all a practice. And again, if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Ready? So we try the other side. Ground down into your right foot. That grounding cord can go out of the, um, the base of your spine, but it can also grow down out of your feet. So all the parts of your foot. I heard teachers say all four corners of your foot. That doesn't really resonate with me, but whatever does, just let, let the imagery take you. There's no right or wrong. Okay, right hand to the right hip or waist. 
I'm gonna bring my left hand back. I'm gonna grab the inside. So grab the big toe side of your foot. Belly is in. I'm gonna bring my right arm right next to my right ear. I'm gonna push my foot into my hand at the same time that I just hinge forward. And it doesn't have to be anything. And it doesn't have to look like anything. It's all about how it feels. Ah, <sighs> good. Ready, let's play a little bit. So ground down through that right foot again. Bring your hands to prayer. Cross the left ankle on top of the right, uh, right above the knee, okay? Flex this left foot, so keep energy flowing through that left leg. Belly is in, tailbone scoops down, and then just let, have a little bit of a seat. Take several seats. No, I'm just kidding. Take a nice little seat. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good, feet together, mountain pose. Nice, in your mountain pose, let's just again stretch through the sides of the body. So I have a heavy bag from my favorite store in my left hand, you're gonna bring my right arm up and over. And then inhale up, switch the bag into the other hand and lean over. <sighs> One more time each side, inhale up, drop the bag and lean. Hmm, inhale up and drop the bag and lean. Oh, good. Inhale, come up. Good. If you're not at the top of the mat, find your way there and exhale and fold. In your forward fold, hang out there. Bend your knees a lot. And then on the exhale, straighten the legs, but don't lock the knees. So. Take your feet wide, let your pinky toes hang off the outside edges, grab opposite elbows, and do that a few more times at your own pace. So I bend my knees until my belly is between my thighs, and then exhale and straighten the legs. Two more times. Inhale, bend the knees, let your butt drop. Exhale, straighten the legs, don't lock the knees. One more time, inhale. Exhale, good. Drop your hands, bring your feet in towards one another, but not, uh, not all the way together, okay? You're gonna bend your right knee, you're gonna bring your right hand to the outside of the left ankle shin calf, and just like when our legs were spread wide, stretch your left arm up to the sky. From wrist to wrist, imagine straight up and down like a flagpole, and then if you are very brave, <laughs> you can try to straighten whoop, that right leg. Changes everything. <laughs> Big inhale. Exhale, release. Other side, bend the left knee, right leg is straight. Left hand to the outside of the right ankle, shin, calf, foot, whatever works. Right arm to the sky, look up at your right thumb. Wrist to wrist, straight line. And then play with the idea, consider the possibility of straightening the left leg, which will feel revolutionary. You do not have to do that. Good, ah, release. Good, let's come all the way down, please. Have a seat. Like we've done before, let's let the knees flop from side to side. Ooh. Good. We're just gonna uh, do some heart opening and a little bit more twisting. So feet flat on the floor. You can have your fingertips point to your butt. That doesn't really feel good to me. I like it better when my hands point back. Whatever works, some people like their hands pointed out to the side. Does not matter. Press your heels down, push your hands down, lift your hips up. Exhale, release. Stretch the right leg out. Bring the right leg up. I mean right arm up, excuse me. And then twist. You're not doing anything fancy with the legs, you're just doing a nice twist, looking behind your left shoulder. Good, unwind, do all that on the other side. So first, lifting the hips up, opening through the chest. Exhale, lower your tush down, stretch the left leg out, bring the left arm up, and twist. Good, we're gonna speed that up just a little bit, okay? So hands behind you, Inhale, lift the arms up, I mean lift the hips up, excuse me. 
Exhale, lower down, straighten the leg, bring the right arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist. Good, hands behind you, same thing. Inhale, lift your hips up. Exhale, lower your hips down, left leg out, left arm up. Exhale, twist. Keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling. One more time each side. Lift the hips up, inhale, lift. Exhale, lower, stretch the right leg out, right arm up. Exhale, twist. Good, one more time. Lift your hips up, inhale. Exhale, lower, left leg out, left arm up, inhale. Exhale, twist. Very good. Stretch your leg, both legs out. We're gonna uh, fold forward. This is like my least favorite pose because I have very long legs and very long arms and I was born without a torso. It's very tragic. You're gonna push your heels out, lift your heart up, and then you're gonna fold. So like I've said before, I can touch my toes. That is not a big deal at all. It's completely irrelevant because I can touch my toes because my arms are freakishly long and that's it. So what we're actually going for is belly to the thighs. That's a little bit different, right? So if I lengthen my front body, like from my pubic bone all the way to my throat, lengthen that and then try to pour it over my thighs, that's a little different. And that's really hard. <laughs> so inhale again, lift, lengthen from your pubic bone all the way to your chin, and then pour, exhale, pour it over your thighs, pour it over your legs. Do that two, uh, two more times. Inhale, lengthen, open up the whole front body, exhale, bleh, spread it over your thighs like peanut butter. And then one more time, inhale, lengthen, stretch it out. Exhale, melt it over your thighs, and then just hang out there and breathe for a few breaths. And at that point, you can bend your knees if your um, hamstrings are screaming. By all means, um, bend your knees. You can let your head drop. Uh, again, if you're very brave, you can try to bring your elbows and forearms to the floor on the outside of your thighs. Woo! That changes things. Wiggle your toes, and then notice, are you holding your breath? Maybe. Don't hold your breath. Good. Come on up, and let's do a bridge pose. So I'm gonna turn around so you can see more of my body and less of my butt. <laughs> but you can come down however you want. So I love bridge pose. I especially love a supported bridge pose, so if you have a uh, block, by all means, get your block. So you're gonna take your shoulder blades and kind of tuck them underneath you. The heels are gonna press down. You're gonna lift your hips up, okay? And this is a perfectly respectable uh, bridge pose right here. If you wanna go deeper, you sort of tuck your shoulders and upper arms under your body like you're tucking your sheets under a mattress. I can bring my fingertips to the insides of my heels you can also interlace your fingers underneath your body. And then I sort of push just a little bit, very gently, push my feet into the floor. So I push my chest towards my chin. I don't wanna flatten my, the back of my neck completely against the floor. So don't do that. I don't want you to tuck your chin so, in so much that the back of your neck is flat on the floor. Keep a little bit of that natural curve in the back of the neck, but it's about opening up the chest. Make sure you're breathing, please. And then see if you can keep this pose without squeezing your butt for dear life. <laughs> Relax your tush just a little bit. Inhale. Good. Exhale. Take it one vertebrae, as a, vertebrae as a, at a time as you lower down. And then the lower back is on the floor. And then bring the soles of your feet together and open up the knees. And when you do that, I know your lower back will lift up a little bit off the floor. That's okay. Breathe. Now, if this is really, really uncomfortable, it's because your knees are heavy and that's okay. So again, you can bring blocks or blankets or cats or children, anything underneath your knees and thighs. 
You can also play with where your heels are, so you can hug them in real close to your crotch, or you can move them away a little bit and see what that feels like. Try closing your eyes. And then we're gonna do some pranayama here. So my teacher, Rama, she's so magical, and she, uh, she had coronavirus. She had COVID-19 um, back a while ago. And so she wrote an article about what it was like and what helped her. And she talked so much about the exhales. So the exhales, again, are so healing. And if you can lengthen your exhale, there are forms of pranayama, of breath work, in which we try to get the exhale twice as, three times as, four times as long as the inhale. So when you inhale, let your belly fill with air, right? Your belly is big and open, so inhale and let your belly spread towards the ceiling. And when you exhale, let the air just seep out like you are a balloon with a very, very small leak. And if this, the goddess pose, if the Bhattakonasana is uncomfortable, bring the um, feet together and we're gonna sort of flip it. Actually, everybody do that. Bring, the, uh, bring your feet flat on the floor, open up your feet as wide as the mat and let your knees rest against each other. So this is a supported rest pose. And when you do that, you may feel that your lower back is now flat on the floor, which feels nice. And let's go back to that breath. So inhale, expand your belly and exhale, let the air just seep out so slowly. Also keep exhaling, keep exhaling, keep exhaling until you feel like you're squeezing the bottoms of your lungs, all the air out of the very tip of your lungs. Now this time, inhale, see if you can just inhale through your left nostril. I know that seems weird, but the left nostril is connected to the parasympathetic nervous system. And so that's the calming nervous system, right? That's what's telling us that everything's okay. And so it feels weird and maybe your head says, you can't do that, but just pretend like you can. Just inhale and exhale completely out of your left nostril. And again, keep exhaling, exhaling, exhaling so slowly and so deliberately. Just for a few more breaths, make every breath a really big deal. Inhale through the left nostril only, or at least pretend, and exhale through the left nostril only, super slowly. As you exhale, also you're releasing, surrendering into the ground. And then for Shavasana, if you want to stay in supported rest, you completely can. It's really nice for the lower back, actually, and you're not exerting any effort because your knees are resting against one another. But you can also spread your legs out in a traditional Shavasana pose. You can do whatever you want, as I mentioned. And then here we are in the hardest pose in yoga, doing our best to release and relax and let go and surrender. Doing our best to remind our very active, very wily mind that in this moment, nothing is required. In this moment, nothing is necessary. And most importantly, in this moment, nothing is wrong. wandered off. 
somewhere else or to the sound of um, people driving by on this video. <laughs> Bring your awareness back to your body, your beautiful, perfect, precious body that takes such good care of you all of the time, such innocent bystander to all that we do to them. Bring your awareness back to your body. You can thank it. Send love. And then crown your head to the tips of your toes. And then wiggle or stretch or whatever little movements feel necessary. You can roll yourself over onto one side, eventually bringing yourself to a seated position. You can close your eyes. You can get a, a pillow to sit on again. I just want to read you some things that I um, found this morning. Most of you know that I love um, Emmanuel's book. I know I've mentioned him before. Um, but this I thought was so fitting for this time, and it makes me so happy. So uh, people, normal you know, people on this plane of existence ask Emmanuel questions. And this time they ask Emmanuel, why are more and more people on the earth right now? Is the earth okay? Um, and he answers, uh, you have all come to witness the lifting of the veil, to be present when the remembering of who you are takes place. I will go even further, he says. When humanity finally comes to terms with the futility of fear, and you are moving there quite swiftly, you will begin to experience great moments of illumination. This is why you have all come right now. This is why the world is so populated. None of you wants to miss the global awakening. And so I know things are weird and bizarre and absurd and tragic and sad and weird. <laughs> Um, I would love to believe that we are all here because none of us want to miss the global awakening. And I'm so glad you are here. And so namaste. May you walk your path with peace and joyfulness. I thank you so much uh, for practicing with me, for coming to my little um, yoga nook. Uh, I really enjoy making these videos. They make me feel very connected to my mom and to myself and to you. So. Um, Thank you so much. If you have any requests, I'm open. I take requests. Be well, friends. I'll see you next time.